Hey there! It's been a while since I've got to do any work to the old Chevette here. Um, it's just been a busy spring. I'm kind of where I figured I'd be at this point in the season. I've got a couple races in, but have missed a bunch as well. Um, just with kids sports going on in the springtime, um, getting the yard back in shape after the winter. Spring's really busy around here and this year I knew going into it it was going to be a little bit extra busy and probably wasn't going to be able to do um, everything I wanted to. So regardless, here we are. Um, you can take a look around the shop. I have been trying to work on some stuff. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to make the big invitational this year. Um, it's just, it's far away and I just don't want to cram to be ready in time. Um, just too many opportunities for things to go bad. Uh, it's a pavement race, so I got a little bit extra work to do. I got to re-gear the car. Um, and then I got a bunch of stuff to make sure the motorhome will get me there as well as the trailer. Everything I got is a pretty rough shape right now. So unfortunately, I don't think I'll make it there. Um, but I do find myself with a bit of free time this afternoon. So I figured I'd start going, getting into the back and uh, seeing what needs to be done and how things are holding up. Uh, if there's anything we need to change after a couple races and just kind of give you guys an update on how it all works so let's get to it check it out so the first problem I noticed was um, the car snapping loose on entry um, when the when we scaled the car and had it set where we wanted it I only gave myself about two inches of shock travel so I got to relocate my upper shock mount and I'm gonna do that on both sides and then I'm gonna remake my shock mount on the axle on the left side as well. I got a proper fitting for it. Um, just something a little better, less chance of wrecking the shock. I start by removing the shocks from both sides of the car. To remove the old shock mount, I start with the plasma cutter to remove the big pieces and then grind everything down with the angle grinder. Using some extra tubing I had lying around the shop, I'm able to fabricate a new bar which I can attach the new shock mount to, which is then welded into place. So even before the very first race, um, just loading the car onto the trailer to take it to Pop's Chops, I mangled up this leaf spring mount. Um, what happened is I had the U-bolts facing down. It was easy to put in, um, easy to take out, but they hung down really low and they caught on the trailer and it bungled them all up. So when we got it back to Scotty's, we ended up taking it all apart and made the U-bolts go up, keeping the, keeping the ground clearance as much as possible. Uh, it seems to be holding up pretty good now. I double nutted it so they jammed up and they don't um, come loose. It seems to work pretty good. If I find um, if the track's rough, it'll start to bounce quite a bit. We might exercise the option of putting a shock on there at some point, but we'll see. We'll get all the little bugs figured out first and then we'll figure out how that's working. So one of the bushings for the high missile alignment bearings that I put in the control arms kind of disintegrated on me. Um, I have to figure out something else to do in order to make that work. There's only one. All three other ones have been holding up so far. Hmm.
since I um, didn't have time to paint the door panels before I put them on and deckled them for the first race, um, they're a different color than the rest of the car. Um, so I'm just gonna have to put a bunch of extra stickers on and hopefully that it doesn't, um, it's not that noticeable. I did the first couple races um, doing a pretty poor job of representing um, sponsors and the people I support. So I'm gonna stick those on now. Um, it's kind of the last thing I got to do and then I'm gonna stick a bunch of just random stuff on there because stickers make race cars faster. Grocery store rubbing alcohol helps clean the surface of the metal for the decals to adhere to. Applying heat to the surface helps the glue adhere to the metal, especially after the decals have been sitting in my shelf for years at a time. pit crew, we apply the cheapest speed parts money can buy. Well, that about wraps up a lot of the prep that I got to do. Um, stickers are on, it's looking like a race car now, hiding all the dents. Um, in all honesty, this is probably the worst um, this car has looked um, from its inception. But that's what time and money allows me to do uh, at this point in time. Um, I'm gonna have to build a hood before the next race. I mean, I can use this one, but I'd rather not. We'll see what happens. Uh, I got other commitments. I gotta pull this thing out. I gotta do a brake job on the family Jetta. And if I got time, I gotta do a radius arm bushing on the old motor home. So, Hopefully we can hit the track in a couple weeks. The guys are probably gearing up to race right now as we speak. The big Invitational and height, first time in a few years that there's actually been money on the line. Um, and I can't make it, kind of bummed out, but just nothing was working out for me this year. So good luck to all the guys today. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what it is. There's a couple cars that I really wanted to race against Wait, this weekend. Race today? Yep. Aww. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Um, before we hit the next race, I'll get try and get Scotty over here with the scales so we can get the car set back up where we like it um, and see if it works any better than it did before. So stay tuned for some more stuff coming and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.